Hello! In this video, we're going to talk about ways to compare different things in speaking. In English, we use certain phrases to discuss things that are similar or different. We often use these phrases as a way to describe two or more people, places, experiences, or things. Let's begin by talking about phrases used to compare two things. To compare things is to talk about ways two things are the same. Here are some examples of phrases to compare the similarities of two jobs and two places for job training. We'll look at an example first, talk about the grammar structure, and then use it in another example. Phrase number one are similar because. Doctors and teachers are similar because they work with people. The two nouns being compared are doctors and teachers in green. Then you see the phrase are similar because in purple, followed by the independent clause, they work with people. An independent clause is a complete sentence that has a subject and a verb. In this example, the independent clause has a subject, they, and a verb, work. Here is another example comparing two places for education, community colleges and universities. Using the same structure, the sentence would look like this. Community colleges and universities are similar because they offer courses in sciences and humanities. Notice that the independent clause in red has a subject, they, and a verb, offer. Phrase number two, have something in common. Doctors and teachers have skills and interests in common. Again, the two nouns being compared are doctors and teachers in green. Then you see the phrase have blank in common in purple. The nouns skills and interests go in the middle of the phrase. It is important to note that you must use at least one noun in the middle of this phrase. Here's another example of the phrase have in common. Community colleges and universities have science and humanities courses in common. Phrase number three, both and and. Both doctors and teachers work with people to help them. This sentence begins with the word both in purple, followed by the two nouns in green and the verb phrase for more explanation. The verb phrase is very important because it explains how the two things are similar. Here's another example using the phrase both and and. Both universities and community colleges offer courses in sciences and humanities. So let's review the three phrases to compare people, places, experiences, or things. One, are similar because. Two, have something in common. And three, both and and. Remember that speakers use these phrases to make their ideas clearer and to explain how two things are similar. In the next video, we will look at some phrases to contrast the differences between two things.